Hello everybody and welcome to Awesome Epic Guys with Edgevin E20 and <coughs> Swatch. And once again it is that lovely time of the year Swatch. Where Wargaming wants more of your sweet money. <laughs> <laughs> In this video we have been provided some boxes from Wargaming, large boxes. We're gonna open a total of 400 boxes, 200 each. I think 400 divided by 2 is 200, yes. And we're gonna record this from both perspectives, so you're gonna mainly see Edwin's perspective, and when I got some epic loot, you're gonna see my perspective. Me and Swatch, we were a little bit worried uh, about these uh, these upcoming loot boxes, because it wasn't that long ago that we had boxes inside the Waffentrager game mode. Where... Footlockers. Footlockers, exactly Swatch. Because first of all, the uh, the drops weren't that great, and there was also this so-called reroll mechanic, which some people liked, some people didn't. I personally had mixed opinions about it. And probably the worst thing, you know, for us content creators, the cursed content creator who are given all these boxes for, for, for free is that we could only open one at a time because of the reroll mechanics. So we were sitting and here like... For years. This took so much time to open. I don't. I, I think it took like 40 minutes to one hour to open all these boxes. So me and Swatch, we were a little bit worried that they would introduce something similar into the Christmas boxes, but that doesn't seem to be the case, thank God. They have played it safe and it appears to be a very similar experience to what we've had for the last couple of years. So this time around, like last Christmas, we're gonna be able to open five boxes at a time, which is gonna be very nice. Last year, in the Christmas boxes, we had the Object 703, the first double bell tank in the game, and the Chunky Boy, the E75 TS, I believe it was called. Those two, along with a lower tier, I believe it was a tier two wheelie tank. They were three loot box exclusive tanks back in the, in the previous year. This year we have a very similar story. We have two tier 8 premium tanks that you have hopefully already seen our glorious videos about. Check out the in. cards above or the links in the description. So we have the Besante C45 which is the first Italian heavy tank in the game with the improved auto reloader mechanic. Uh, and we also have the Gisor 1008, a British Tier 8 PREMIUM Tank Destroyer, mm. which actually is a lot of fun to play, but these two are loot box exclusives, at least for now. So what they did last year, and the year before that, is that they sold these exclusive tanks, the Tier 8 ones at least, inside the boxes, and then a couple of months later you were, you were able to buy them separately in the premium shop for quite a high price though. But uh, our point is, is that in case you buy these boxes for the value, which most people should, they have very high value, and if you buy them for that, it's great for that. But if you are buying them exclusively for these tanks, that is a very bad idea, because there's a high chance that you won't get them. So it's probably better if you just stick to your money and save those until they go for sale later in 2021. However, last year, I believe it took all the way to August, like mid-August, until they sold the Object 703, which was the most sought after uh, of the two tier 8 premiums. The E75 TS, I don't remember exactly when it was sold, but it was a lot earlier than the object. So these two tanks are, for now, exclusives to the loot boxes, the Christmas boxes, but they will be for sold later in the premium shop, however, we don't know when. So keep that in mind before you spend your hard-earned money. Our tips is, if you are interested in new Italian heavy tanks, you should just wait for the Tech Tree tanks to come out, which will probably very soon, like early, 2021 probably. Don't gamble your money on the premium one and wait for the tech tree tanks. That's probably your best bet if you want to experience Italian heavies. Apart from these two tier 8 premiums, there is also another loot box exclusive that we have not made a video about because we don't have it yet. And that is the M4A1 FL10, which is a tier 6 medium autoloader, I think. That lower tier tank, just as previous year, has not been sold in the premium shop. Uh, separately afterwards. So there is potentially one collector's tank in here uh, that you will probably not be able to buy anytime soon outside of the boxes. At the same time, I don't believe that this low tier French boy is gonna be fantastic in terms of gameplay. I mean, it's tier 6 and it's like an M4 with an outload. Like, they are just taking the hole and the turret of two already existing tanks and just put them on top of each other to create a new tank. Uh, so I, I don't think that's gonna provide any game-breaking gameplay. What most people are gonna be uh, are gonna be looking after will obviously be the Gisor and the Bisonte. But so, three premium tanks in total that are exclusives 
to these loot boxes. Apart from these loot box exclusives, what will you get in the loot boxes if you decide to buy one or several? So for each large box that you open, you will always get one level 5 decorations for the holiday ops, one random decoration for the holiday ops, and 250 gold. These are three items that you will always get from these loot boxes. And then you will also get a fourth item, which is random. And this item can be, and here's the list, one day of World of Tanks premium account, three days of World of Tanks premium account, seven days of World of Tanks premium account, 250 gold, 500 gold, or 1000 gold, 100,000 credits, or 500,000 credits. Then it can also be one of the many premiums, and all the premiums in this list, including the loot box exclusives, are ISU 152K, Bisonte C45, Gisor 1008, Bat Chatillon Borask, Panzerkampfwagen T15, Matilda Black Prince, M22 Locust, M4A1 FL10, and the T78. And the final type of item you can receive is a tier 10 3D skin, either a new one or any of the ones that came in the last year's Christmas loot boxes. The new ones are a skin for the Conqueror gun carriage, the mouse, the 60TP, the STB1 and the WZ5A. And the skins from last year that you can get is a skin for the E4, the E100, the Object 140, the AMX 13105, the Jack Panzer E100, and the Object 430U. In case you are sitting at home and you don't have any money, you can't borrow your mom's or dad's credit card, fear not, because on the 14th of December, uh, me and Swatch will be hosting a little giveaway on Twitch. Uh, we usually stream from 6 to 8 p.m. Paris time, uh, but on the 14th of December we're going to be streaming two hours extra. We're going to be streaming from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, and during this little live stream uh, we're going to offer you plenty of entertainment, suffering and memes. Uh, and we will also be giving away uh, some stuff uh, both that Wargaming will sponsor us with, uh, some pre premium days, premium tanks. And we will also dig into our very own shallow pockets uh, and provide you guys who are watching uh, with some Christmas joy boxes. However, as we don't have any active accounts on other regions, uh, we will only be able to provide these gifts to European players. <coughs> Sorry, rest of the world, but um, this is just how it is. Um, so after we have opened all these 400 in total boxes, we're gonna make a list of everything that we have collected and make a comparison to what we have now and what we have then so you can get a rough kind of picture of what these uh, loot boxes have in store. Even though 400 boxes are too many boxes for like two people, it's kind of a small sample size. So you should definitely check out other creators that also make these opening boxes videos and check out the value that they have received. We will also link some old videos of us opening boxes from previous years. So you can check that out somewhere around here, maybe in a card. Maybe in the description, we'll see. By the end of this video, we're also gonna show all the skins that we have received from these boxes and the old skins as well. It's time, Swatch, to open 400 boxes of f***ing Doom! Roll the intro! Open loot boxes in World of Tanks. Oh, oh, oh. So before we open Swatch, to be clear again, 400 boxes is a shitload of boxes. And with the current currency around the world, uh, if we were to translate from our premium shop to euros, buying 400 boxes you know, in bundles, uh, buying as many boxes as you can in one go, that would equal to about 530 euros, which is an absurd amount of money to spend on one video game in one go. So, do, so to be clear, d don't, don't do that. <laughs> We are gonna open five at a time throughout this video, but I do want to open a single one to begin with uh, just to try my RNG luck uh, and also to see just how the animation looks like because I do think that the animations and the experience of opening these boxes, you know, it, it kind of belongs to the whole package, you know? Okay, let's do it on three. One, two, three. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. Get anything fancy, Swatch? I got a 3D skin. Really? In the first one? Yes. You lucky the... bitch! <laughs> for the STB one. Holy crap. Th those, I believe those styles are one of the rarest drops. 
So you getting them in the first go is just... <laughs> okay, on Kay. three. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, I got the Locust and the Matilda Black Prince. Swart, you lucky bitch! So, I don't have these vehicles already, so that's pretty neat for me. Yeah. Uh, Swatch, I noticed something right here. My face uh -huh. is blocking the freaking thing. Oh, frick. <laughs> we'll be right back, people. That was like 30 minutes of work, but uh, <laughs> we're back with a new interface. My name is slightly covering one level 5 decoration in the bottom left, but I, I don't think anyone cares. This looks very dynamic, in my opinion. Don't you agree, Swatch? It looks perfect, Edwin. Uh, open five more, Swatch. Yep. Gold. Gold. <gasps> oh my god, Swatch! The one the I was looking forward to the most! The shovel! What? Oh, the, the con conqueror. Yes. To be fair, people, if you're ever gonna play artillery, you gotta do it with a freaking mm -hmm. shovel. I uh, I actually received the ISU 152K, which I received 8,700 gold for. You're on a streak, Swatch. Holy crap! Uh, what's and this? One day of premium. Uh, box three. I said, and two more. Uh, so people, this is probably a bit of a bug. Uh, the game should should probably render the gold first, then the style, and then the tank, and then like. One and then it, it should display like an additional item being the garage lot, but for some reason it doesn't do that because it ran out, ran, it ran out of space. <coughs> but Swatch check the website and 10,200 gold is compensation for the Italian Bisonte. So that's 11 boxes and we have already re received one tier 8 premium each, right? Yes. I, I had no idea you could get a style and a premium tank tier 8 premium in the same in the same box. I didn't think that was possible. Apparently you can. <laughs> That's gonna be like the best box ever. <laughs> okay, let's open the, the next five. Oh, I got the M4A1 FL10. Is that, is that the, the, the new boy? Yeah, the loot box exclusive that we haven't received before with this, so... Okay. Finally, content. <laughs> let's open the next five. I guess tier 6 is not high tier enough for an animation. Oh, I got the T-15. Swatch, you're getting premium tanks left, right, center, what is this? You've got like five, six premium tanks and I received one. Yes. Okay, let's keep uh, going. Okay, next. Let's keep going! Yep. Yeah. Oh! I got the FL-10. Oh, I got the T-15 again. Swatch, what? Rigged! Cool. Rigged! Rigged. Okay, five let's more, let's going. go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Matilda Black Prince. 1750 oh. gold. I so got pre uh, premium nothing days exactly. and gold. So nothing too fancy, but the uh, Matilda is nice. Uh, let's open the, the next five. Yep. <gasps> I got uh, Burask. Jesus, watch! So that's 7,600 gold compensation. Oh my god, those watch. I got three in the same opening. I'm catching up, Swatch. Three? Oh I got the, the Matilda Black Prince again. And then I got the Locust, the tier 3 American, and then I got the Gizor 1008. So now, after opening almost 40 boxes, I've already received every loot box exclusive. 36 specifically. Yep. Locust. I got the Matilda Black Prince again, 700 and 1750 gold compensation. Oh, I got the Locust, ah! 900 the, gold. Got the P set. Final four! The challenger has arrived! Oh, I got the Bisonte! Really? And a T15. Oh boy. Uh, so, 10,200 gold for the Bisonte and 900 gold for the T15. How much does it cost to go to the premium store right now, Swatch, and buy 50 boxes? 80 Six. euros. Yeah. That's quite a bit of money to spend on the video game, but considering all the crap that we received, that is still a very good value. That's that was just so much. Just 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 the premium tanks alone is worth it, and they get all the other stuff on top of that. Oh boy. Okay, Adam. Those were 50 New Year's boxes. Let's move on to the Christmas boxes. Christmas joy. Ho 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 motherfucker. We, so we can open the first one. Let's go. Uh, I think last year they had like different colors and shit, but now the boxes are like completely different. I do like. I got a gingerbread man. What? Very beautiful. 
a level 5 decoration. <laughs> ah, I also got a gingerbread dude. Oh, nice. He looks like the guy in Shrek. Now let's go with 5 at a time. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, I got a style for the oh. Kurva! I mean the, uh, the, s <clears throat> the 60 TP. Oh yes, the Polish tier 10 heavy tank. Yes. Uh, I got the shovel carrier skin. <laughs> oh my god, Swatch. The, that's that, that's, the, that, that's gonna be the best one. <laughs> yeah. I personally really like the 60 TP. Uh, so I am very happy about that style. It's probably one of my favorite tier 10s at the moment at least. Let's move along, Swatch. Yep. I think you've had oh, go gold and premium days. I got the T78. That's oh, there we go, PZ. Still not the only low tier. Matilda Black Prince. So and uh, uh, I got the mouse style. Oh, that's that's the one I want the most watch. I am so want that! Yeah, this one is really glorious. Yeah. Like with the anti-air gun on and the top and the freaking yeah. Goliath tank on the air. On the ass. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Some better luck. But I got nothing. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> I only got credits and gold on my. Oh, but well, I did get twelve hundred and fifty <laughs> gold. That's pretty neat, though. Oh, I got the Wizard Five A skin. Oh, nice. That that's the one with like, the dragon, right? Yeah, the, well, the, the, fl dra the flamethrower. The dragon flamethrowers of doom and justice. Yes. Premium days. Oh, got a style, thank god. Oh, yes, the mouse style! Mm. This is GG, the man. thing I'll be looking forward to the absolute most, Swatch. The mouse, by nice. the way, people, was my first tier 10. Yep. I got nothing. Uh, golden premium days, let's go for five more. <gasps> got the STB style, right away. Ooh. Oh, another style. So in five boxes, I got two styles. Oh, I got the T78 for a third time. I got the FL10. Okay, okay I, I opened it the last four. I didn't really get anything fancy. I got nothing. Yay! All right, watch. Let's head over to the lunar boxes. Oh, look at that in its glory. And open the first one. Yeah. Single, single, one. single yeah. open. Let's go. Nothing too fancy. Oh, okay, I got the 60 TP skin. Oh my goodness, watch. Matilda Black Prince. Nice. I got nothing. Well, you do get a lot of stuff, you're just not getting anything insane. I got the Bisonte again. Bisonte. Ooh. Oh, and the FL10. Oh. Here we go. Oh, Locust. Oh, I got the Burask second time. I haven't received it a single time yet. Let's okay. go for five more. I'm a little bit worried I'm not getting any of the other premium tanks. I think I got the I got the Besant twice and the Gisor at least once. Oh yeah, just as I said, I got the ISU, thank god. Because these are so many boxes. Like ah. I, I would argue that if you're buying a hundred boxes, you should be almost guaranteed to get everything, but that's clearly not the case here. But again, it only shows that how kind of random these boxes are. Yep. Swatches be like, oh, Buras go boom, and I be like, <laughs> five more? Yep. Premium days in gold. I Eight. got the uh, Bisonte again, I think that's the. And I got the Bisonte a second time after. What? <laughs> so that's, so that's, 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 that's 20k gold, just like that. Yep. Oh, nine more boxes, watch. Nine! This is the golden number. And I oh, got. Locust! Nothing. Oh, finally. The last four, let's yep. go. Matilda Black Prince. I didn't get anything fancy. It feels like you are way more lucky than me, Swatch. Like you're just grabbing all the premiums. Yeah. So we took a small break and looked at the uh, the website and Edwin is missing the Borask and the T78 and I'm just missing the G Sword. And we have all and the that, styles. Yes, we have all the styles. Yep. Okay, so let's open the first one, a single box, and see if we get anything fancy. From the large magic boxes. Mm. Mm. Nope, I haven't received anything fancy in the first one. Probably. I got a premium day. Wow. Let's keep going. Let's Five keep boxes. going. Oh, Black Prince. I got nothing. 
Nothing. Next couple of boxes, I got the T78. I think I got it like four times now. Rigged. Got a piece of T15. Yeah. Are you oh, on? I got the Bisonti for like the fourth time. Nope. Yep. 1250 gold, that's pretty good as a single drop. Nothing. Premium, premium days in gold. Yep. Let's keep going! I got the T15. Mm -hmm. 19 left, watch. Uh, I got nothing, I have 14 left. Locust! Oh. Oh my goodness. I got nothing. Panzer T15. 9. 9! Nine boxes left. And Locust again? I mean, I'm getting a lot of drops, I shouldn't be complaining. But again, we are Black Prince. We are super close to the finish line and we are still lacking stuff. I have four boxes left and I'm still missing the g -Sor. That is absurd. Hold on, Swartz, let me catch up to you. Wait, until I get here. Yeah, Black Prince. Okay, so, that are, so we are down to the last four boxes, Swartz. And you're still missing the T-78 and the Burrask. Yeah, and you are and missing a loot box exclusive. Yes. That is almost sad. So a lot of people are gonna uh, will want to have it. I want to have it. It's a great tank. It's a fun. It's fun to play. And you're telling me you can open 200 boxes and not get it? That is absurd. Okay. Let's open the, la the last four boxes of Christmas. Mat Matilda Black Prince, and I got the fing G sword. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, Swatch! You lucky bitch. <laughs> In the second last box. Oh my Jesus god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I am still lacking two of them. Yep. Holy moly. <clears throat> okay, Swatch. And now, when we have opened 200 boxes each, I am very interested to know how much content you and me have received. We couldn't keep track of all the premium tanks during this recording, so we're just gonna list them on the screen. But we have kept track on the premium days, the gold, and the credits that we have received. So let's begin with uh, Edvan. Edvan received a total of 173 premium days, 131,850 gold, and 8,460,000 credits. How about a little more, Swatch? Mm-mm. <laughs> so I received 103 days of premium. I received 166,450 gold. Mother of God. And 12,220,000 credits. So, uh, I think I got the the higher end of this uh, yeah, of these boxes. So. Def definitely so. <laughs> Although you did, you 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 did you did get a lot more premium days though. Aren't you happy, Adam? Uh, so currently I have 596 days watch. Um, <laughs> I and the funny thing is they're probably going to be more in future events as well. So I have no idea what to do with all these days watch. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so. I received all the premium tanks from these boxes that you could possibly get, and all the skins. Edwin received all the skins, but he missed out on the T-78 and the Burask. Th this should definitely make your your alarm bells ringing a little bit. If you are trying to buy these boxes for a single specific premium tank, especially the higher tier ones, just don't. Just no. don't. So this is proof that you can buy 200 boxes, which is an absurd amount of boxes and money, and still not be guaranteed everything. And you, Swatch, you got the G Sword, one of the tier 8 loot box exclusives, in like the last few boxes you got, like the last like three or something, right? The second last box. But on the other hand, you did get the uh, Bisonte, like... Four, four times I got the Bisonte, which is a huge amount of gold, by the way. <laughs> you can always make the argument that the value is here in terms of all the different currencies you can get. But imagine if Swatch just wanted the, the G-Sword. doesn't matter how many times he gets lucky and gets the Bisonte. If he gets the Bisonte over and over again or any other premium tank, it doesn't matter. If he wants a specific tank, he yeah. may not have gotten it. Uh, what no. we would suggest that you do is that you go back and compare this to previous years uh, box openings and also go and check out the current years of 
other content creators opening boxes to get a general idea of what you may expect. Before we move on to the conclusion of this video, we're gonna have a quick look at all the styles that you could receive from this year's boxes and previous years. But we're gonna begin with the new ones and this style, the, the one on the mouse, is my personal favorite and was the thing that I wanted the absolute most from these boxes. I watched Wargaming's little teaser video that they released like, I don't know, maybe a week a week ago. Depends when this video, video goes live as well, of course. Um, and I got super hyped just by that this menacing mouse, which was my my first tier 10. And just this uh, this anti-aircraft turret and the colors and... Mm, I just love it. I love I love yeah. the aesthetics. I love it. Yes. So we have the, uh, the VZ 111 model 5A. Uh, pretty good tank in my opinion. I personally enjoy playing it, you know, apart from the fact that it's <coughs> tier 10. I didn't think that this green would pop so much from, uh, you know, from watching the previous videos on YouTube, but this style swatch, it's almost like oh. a freaking cucumber. I love it. It almost like glows, like l look at the reflection from the Christmas tree. This is some real ray tracing going on. <laughs> I don't think it breathes fire, but if it did, when you press like X or something, that'd be freaking hilarious. This one is not that ap epic in my opinion, but this style isn't that overkill. This is more like the, the or already existing STB one with some more branches. Stuff. Uh, yeah, some some pines ripped off yeah. on top. Kind of kind of lame style, to be honest. Yeah, but it's not not as overkill though. So, so a lot of people might prefer it just because it's not too much, you know. Yeah, some people prefer you know more historically accurate stuff over yeah. you know crazy stuff. Then ah, oh, this is, I mean the memes, the artillery piece watch, the oh. Kongru gun carriage with a shovel. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, I almost want to play artillery when I see this skin. If you're ever gonna <laughs> play tier ten artillery. You're gonna do do it with a shovel. Isn't uh, machine gun a new touch as well on the oh, top? Oh yeah, it is. I didn't think about that. Yes, the machine gun is new, so you can sh shoot down all them uh... birds. And the final new style for this year is the 6T TP. Mm. Uh, I like the the details on the top, like the machine guns and the. I think it's an anti-air gun. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably is. That's a very nice touch. Wait, is that a freaking chainsaw? Where? The orange thing on the side of the turret. <laughs> that is a freaking chainsaw swatch, that is correct. Okay, that's pretty epic. That is pretty <laughs> epic swatch. At first glance I was pretty eh, but then when I looked into it, it was pretty good. Okay, uh, so if you want, want to look at these styles in a bit more detail, the ones from previous year, you can do that in our well, last year's uh, opening video, but we're just gonna go over them real quick. This is the one for E100, looks pretty damn good. Jagged Panzer E100, which I believe mm -hmm. was our favorite from last year, because, again, just adding stuff on it, if you can search light and a motorcycle. The one for the 140, in my opinion, looks pretty meh. 430U, which I personally kinda like, not that many details, but like the overall color and shit, I still kinda like. The one for the E4, again, not that many details, still kinda cool looking though. The one for the 13105 is pretty meh. Uh, and those are the styles from previous years. Yes. Okay, so watch. We are reaching the end of this glorious video. What do you think about the holiday ops and these boxes you know, as a whole? And should people spend money on these Christmas boxes? What do you say, Swatch? It's obviously very good value in these boxes. You will get your money's worth if you decide to spend your valuable money on these boxes. So gambling and keep spending money on these boxes for something specific is exactly what Wargaming wants you to do. So don't fall for Wargaming's cheeky shenanigans. If you want to really spend your money on these boxes and get something good, you should decide beforehand exactly how many boxes that you want to buy, and then be happy for the great value that you will receive from these boxes. Don't go in and be like, I really want this specific tank, because there's no guarantee at all that you will actually get that specific reward that you really, really want. Yeah, as you clearly saw in our opening, Swatch had to open like 197 boxes to get the G-Store, for example. And I opened 200 and I didn't get the Barask and the T78. So you could probably, you know, roll the dice over and over again. You could be really lucky and get what you want right away, or you can roll the dice into eternity and only lose a crap ton of money. And yes, you will get premium days, credits, gold, but you may not even need that. So I would probably recommend you to just save that money until the tanks eventually end up in your premium shop next year and just experience, for example, the Italian heavy tanks when they are released into the tech tree. Um. Okay, people, we hope you have enjoyed this 
extremely high effort YouTube video. <clears throat> I guess we want to thank Wargaming for giving these boxes to us. Thank you Wargaming. And good luck everybody during these holiday ops. I hope you can unlock Chuck Norris in your garage <laughs> and, uh, and all that cool stuff. No matter if you're buying large boxes or not, good luck in the holiday ops and try to have a good time and just enjoy World of Tanks for what it is. Small so, side note, there's a badge called Cool as a Cucumber, you should unlock it. It's the best badge to watch. Like and subscribe!